Olympic Hey, we're back here at JC's Comics and Warrior Pop Culture Superstore. And we're talking about this here, this uh, great comics action 1000. 34 of 60, of course, you can tell whose signature that is. Come on, come on. You got five, four, three, two, one. Come on. Obviously, that is a, a B, and obviously, that right there is a Q. It's Ben Kubert. It's Ben Kubert did sign this. Ben Kubert. Or maybe, wait a second. Oh, there it is. That's an E, and that's a, uh, that's, that's a square. This, this, is, this was signed by, uh, by that, that, that guy with the fancy mustache and uh, came up with uh, the theories of relativity. He came back and signed this. No, no, that's, uh, this, is, uh, this is Scott Snyder's autograph. Okay, let's see what's in the rest of these boxes here. Got one more box to, I got a quick, quick goofing around. Time is the essence. You get no time for love, Dr. Jones. And we're looking at this one here. So let's cut to the chase. Let's go right to the bad corner and see how bad these books look. Hopefully, hopefully they're not bad. Hopefully somehow, hopefully somehow these comics have escaped the wheel of doom. Here we've got the great god uh, Hemdo of the Aryan race of gods, uh, Asgardian gods, as you can tell. So the other cover is to Poe Dameron. Wayward, that's an image book. Look, the logo is at the top. Isn't that special? We've got this book there from Black Crown. Pull some of these out. Wow, it looks like maybe my Marvel preview books are in there. So if my Marvel preview books are in there, damage away. You can bang the hell out of those. I don't care. There's the other cover to Rick and Morty. Almost looks like a Steve Ditko cover. If I was willing to, if I almost wasn't, I have to say that maybe it was influenced by the late great Mr. Ditko. And again, look, you've got you've got these books here that could be damaged. These things could be damaged. These are just giveaways. No, no, they make it through okay. No, they make sure that those things get to me in pristine condition. X-Men, disassembled. Get out of here, you mutants. Go back to Burger King. That's not fair. Burger King has good food. It's actually one of the few that I care about. The 70th anniversary, oh, 700th anniversary issue. So, that means Avengers goes back to issue 700 with that issue. So, it means a new number one will be out in March. You clever sly dogs, Marvel. You had, you, 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 you whoops. You got your, your hand on the uh, pulse there. You got the naughty covers to Zombie Tramp. You got the previews, customer order form. Mr. Uh, Shop Stewart's going to get that. Got Cyber Force. It's being set aside for somebody. Look! New World! You got it right on this cover, dudes. You got it right on that cover. Come on! How could you get so wrong on one and so right on the other? My God. It's like, like you're bipolar. Pretty nice Red Sonya cover there. We got X23 with uh, with that girl X23 want X21 want to be Honey Badger. That's that's a shame. That's that school, that college school should sue sue, sue the hell out of Marvel. Here we got blank covers too. Harley Quinn and Gossamer. And look, we've got more of those Marvel preview books underneath there. Here's the Virgin cover to Catwoman. It's been a while since those words have been used with Catwoman. And again, you can put, put Catwoman Tweety, Catwoman Tweety Sylvester. You can put that right at the top there. Nothing wrong with that at all. 
You got Bugs Bunny. You got Looney Tunes. You got words right there. Come on, people. You got words right there. What are words for? Where's, where's missing persons when you need them? Got the Silencer Annual. A Silent Night in Gotham. Batman don't like that. He don't come into his town. We're taking over this town. Got the Runaways. I believe this is the last issue of this series. Is it? Is it not? Oh, to be continued. Oh, you're going to put us through hell for another month, aren't you? Okay, if you feel you have to. All right, is this the rest? All the rest of that is more Marvel previews that we're going to be giving away. Here we have X-Men Blue. Magneto. Magneto put hurting on somebody. You got Kelly Bunn. You got uh, Terrell Owens doing uh, doing the art. Fresh out of the uh, the NFL Hall of Fame. You go, T.O. You got Rob Zombie. I mean, Hillbilly. There you go. You got Web of Web of Venom, Vietnam. And the other cover. One of the other covers. This is the this is the. All you can order variant cover. You got Porky Pig and Lex Luthor. Two bald hams teaming up. Better watch it, Porky. Lex is gonna is gonna straighten your tail out. He's gonna rub your butt just right, and your tail is gonna go straight. Paradise Court. Oh man, I don't want to answer that. That uh, go to that mail. Beyonders number one from Aftershock Comics. A very good company there. They paid us a visit during Free Comic Book Day. I think they try. They try very hard. Got Blackwood by Evan Dorkin. Ah, uh, here we go. You've got Venom number one. This is the fourth printing. You got this one right. You got the logo at the top there. Come on, you guys. Uh, you, know, you can you, you you do good sometimes. Here's the other cover to Rick and Morty Dungeons and Dragons. Oh my gosh, he's got a 15 armor. Got three initiative. His speed is 30 feet. He's got a plus zero for strength. Dexterity plus three. Intelligence plus one. Oh my god. He's a rogue six. He's got 14,000 experience points. Man, oh man. Don't mess with this dude. He will mess you up. Speaking of messing people up, look, there's Daffy Duck and the Joker. You don't want to get between them and their Twinkies. My God. See, stay away from his ham sandwich. You know, as they're eating Porky Pig. Daffy would eat Porky Pig just to, just to be the thing to do. Okay, got Paradise Court. Another book from Xenoscope. Extermination, number two. Again, cannot wait to read this. Really, really happy with the first issue. One of the few good things I can say about Marvel these days. Mark it down. Let's see. And these copies look good. Star Wars Adventures. You got Eeyore's family right there as they had to escape from that planet and then came to Earth and hooked up with Pooh Bear. Got more X Men Blue. I see the DC previews in there as well. X 
So in blue, there's the retailer order form. Can't wait to dive into that. Got another couple of issues of swashbucklers. The saga continues. We'll get those put out. New World. Again, we've got two covers of the New World that they get passing grades. One cover gets a big, big fat F. Hunt for Wolverine. There we go. Dead end. You don't find one Wolverine in there. He, he's not there. You got Exiles. This book is still being published. I know, I know. Wayward, set that aside for a customer. You got the retailer cover to Star Wars Adventures. You got Zombie Tramp. This is a this is a safe cover. Gotta watch out for Zombie Tramp. You just never know what's gonna pop out there, and next thing you know, you're on a, you're on the bad list. Scarlet, another cover of Scarlet. And we got Scarlet's around here someplace. Though there they are. Michael Bendis. We got Deadpool second printing of issue number two. Ha! You said two. Look, they got their the logo at the top of that one. They they understand. There he goes. Beware my power, Green Lantern. <laughs> Liam Sharp should be good. Grant Morrison, we'll see. But can't wait to look through this also. And let's see, is that it? Looks like some other comics in here. Somebody should tell people at Diamond. Stuff like that there, these preview books, put those on the bottom. So if those get banged up, no one's going to care. Second printing of Life of Captain Marvel with the art germ covers. And of course the logo is at the bottom. Uh, let's take a look here. We've got Captain Marvel. Where is she at here? Life of Captain Marvel. She's on one of these, one of these racks over here. No pun intended. But Captain Marvel is on the rack. Okay, this is the first printing. We'll see how the first printing, which I pulled off this rack, is different from the second printing. Can you tell? Can you tell? You can't even tell. You know, the red's not quite as red. Oh, they changed the, the logo at the bottom. What a jip. If I would have known that was the only change, I would not have ordered these, Marvel. I feel you. I feel you uh, You owe me some money. You ripped me off, Marvel. You owe me some money. That was cheap. You could have at least changed it. You could have at least changed the background. Man. I'm gonna feel really bad if any of my customers give me money for this. I'm gonna feel like I'm I'm robbing them now. Okay. Got the rest of the stuff in this box here. Ah, the Venom first host, the Mark Bagley covers. And we'll check these out. And those are good. Got Beyonders. From IDW. We've got the other copy of Blackwood. Let's see, these are all first hosts. These are good. All right. You can mark it down. This shipment here was damage free. Yes, yes, I know. I know it's surprising, but it was damage free. Ain't that right? Damage free. Now, if you want to count my box, my replacement box that came in that was had my damaged replacements in it, that came damaged. But this box here was damaged for oh hang on a second. A couple of box books at the book at the end here. Make sure, make sure I'm not eating my words. There we go. We're going to the paradise court. And let's take a look at this one here. Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, is it good? Okay. Whew. Look, it's got uh, got a little got a little hamster on there. That's uh, 
What's what's his name called? What Lemmy? Lemmy? Uh, Lemmy Winks? Lemmy Winks is on the front here. Has he escaped? Has escaped from Mr. Slave? Uh, that's that's the origin of Lemmy Winks right there. But but these boxes, these comics came damage free. So those of you that always watch and and are happy and uh, ha ha, look his bucks got damaged. Oh, uh, I guess I guess you're buying pizza this week. But other than that, if you like these videos, subscribe. And if you subscribe, be sure to smash the bell. And also, please, please share these things. Please share these things to your friends, your enemies, co-workers, people that you want to get in trouble for watching them at work, somebody that you want to get fired. Make sure they you know, share it to them. That way they'll get in trouble by their boss and get fired. And then you can move up the company ladder. But other than that, I thank you. Have a happy, good New Comics Day tomorrow on the last Wednesday of August. Thanks.